So this person, who's actually a nurse as well, posted this today. Tried African food for the first time today, or first time yesterday, and woke up musty, right? <clears throat> and now, usually I see her, like, post some stuff, like, whenever I do get on Facebook. And mind you, this is an older lady, too. Older black lady. Um, And she constantly is trying to post to like promote like her business or whatever which i get interactions are cool whatever the case may be but for you to just be posting willy-nilly shit especially like you know trying to get a rise out of people i think that's corny so mind you as soon as i saw this post y'all i um unfollowed her like i unfriended her from facebook because i just think sometimes even if you if you see somebody would make a certain joke it wouldn't even matter if you say something to them because kind of like if they think it's funny you feel me it's like it's no use but regardless of that i'm gonna say what the fuck i gotta say so she's like, this is a joke. Don't get offended. I've been to Africa, love the food, and going back. And she has been to Africa. But in, that, in my eyes, that means you should be more culturally competent and you should be embarrassed to be making types, these type of jokes about, you know, to our people, technically. So I commented, I said, I do understand that this is a joke, but if someone said I ate fried chicken or soul food yesterday and woke up broke, black people will be offended. Probably just best not to joke about that, in my opinion. Also, white people in the comments laughing, too, and you interacting with them is kind of weird. Basically, I just say this to say sometimes I can definitely see why African people or like Caribbean people feel the certain type of way or have their certain prejudices um, towards African American people. Um, because sometimes we can be really ignorant like what was the point, you know, like out of all the things you can make jokes about out of all the things that could get you interactions which you clearly are so thirsty for um and i hope she sees this you know because she does follow me on tiktok even though i unfollowed her and i um, unfriended her um i just think she needs a bit of a reality check like i just feel like that was so corny and obviously she is only doing it to get a rise out of people and to get interactions but i'm like yeah you're weird as hell for that and I'm also so glad that I even didn't participate and like, you know, support her in her business. You know, I was thankful for, I feel like her clientele because she was a client of mine and I did her makeup like a couple of times and her hair as well. But yeah, some people, I just don't need no weird energy in my life. I don't need nobody in my life who I feel like is weird at all. So if I see anything that turns me off even a little bit, I'm cutting you the fuck off. I literally, I don't have no remorse no more. Famous author of White Lines Tracy Brown of Staten Island, New York, has sadly passed away. She died on Saturday, 20th May of 2023, surrounded by her beloved family. She was announced dead on her Facebook page on Sunday in a publication that says, Our mom, the illustrious Tracy Brown, passed away on 5th 20th of 2023. There is so much to say about her, but we simply don't have words for at this time. Her cause of death was not revealed. Tracy Brown spent her entire life on the New York bro of Staten Island, where she was born and raised. Brown was only in her teenage years when she discovered she was pregnant of her daughter, but despite the obstacles, she was able to successfully complete her high school education in addition to this, she is a mother of two boys. She attended the John Jay College of Criminal Justice and graduated there. She served as the executive director of the charitable organization known as We Are Ladies First, whose mission is to educate, motivate, and enable the young women of Southern Iceland. Tracy Brown was kind, empathetic, loving and hilarious at the same time. Tracy Brown was an exceptional talented storyteller, a world that gonna miss. May her soul rest in eternal peace and let's pray for her family. Because we know right now they are feeling so sudden and please viewer, if you've watched this video up then, thanks so much. Don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell.